What is up guys and welcome yet to another quick video and the update I was uh, I've been promising you shall I say so I did pick my uh, new graphics card out um, this is a temporary use graphics card until next year uh, as you know I wanted to get the uh, GTX sorry not the GTX I do apologize Nvidia Quadro uh, K6000 uh, with 24 gigabyte of uh, VRAM um, but for the time being, I wanted to buy myself a card that was not only powerful enough to run the latest applications um, and be good enough to uh, do some video editing and visual effects uh, work. Um, yeah, so I opted for this bad boy. So this is the GTX 4GB uh, card. Um, I was going to go for the TI version, which is what I previously had. Uh, that was the 6GB card. But obviously where this is only for a year... Um, I opted for the 4 gigabyte version of the GTX 980 which is more than adequate to do uh, the job that I need it to do so yes there it is there's your update for the graphics card obviously if you look back on my previous video you're going to know exactly uh, what happened to my workstation graphics card I've got a couple little problems um, well I, I had a couple of little problems but uh, they were solved uh, regarding um, connections for the power supply um, but yeah, it's not a problem. Um, the problem was solved. It's near enough very similar to my um, uh, TI, 6 gigabyte TI. Um, but I did have a problem with software, shall I say. Um, installing drivers and stuff like that. I don't know why. But yeah, it's uh, been sorted now. And this card's performing uh, really, really well. So I have been managing to edit uh, 4K on this. And some... Uh, uh, Ursa footage, so Ursa mini footage I've edited with this card um, in 4K. I've also edited some Blackmagic Cinema Camera 4K footage with this, um, and it runs buttery smooth. There's no problems with lag. Um, I can run the footage on um, full frame, shall I say, uh, full frame resolution, uh, which is great. Um, and even when I add, you know, some LUTs and some effects, and so on and so on. It's a lot like the uh, GTX uh, 980 Ti, which was 6 gigabyte. Obviously, you're taking away uh, 2 gigabyte in, in video memory. But there's not a lot of difference between the two, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, so why did I opt for this card? Well, the problem is, it's always been... The 980 uh, cards have always been very, very reliable to me. Um, I've had the 980 GTX 980 cards since I've come out. Um, and I really do like them. I like them a lot. Um, they always work performance-wise um, when it comes to video editing and visual effects. There's never been a problem with them. Yes, this is only a 4 gigabyte card, but still it manages to crunch through uh, the workload or workflow, shall I say, um, absolutely fantastically. Uh, like I've just said, I've managed to edit uh, 4K on this uh, using this card um, absolutely fantastically. Uh, obviously, it does help when you've got, you know, uh, loads of cores uh, on your CPU, obviously, and a decent amount of RAM, uh, which also does help. As you guys know, I've got uh, plenty of that in my system. So, um, yeah, I do recommend this card if you want to do some video editing. It's a great, great card. It's in the system as we speak. Um, obviously, if you look at the pictures behind me, uh, this is the MSI version um, of the card, uh, which is great. Um, it's got the twin cooling and the twin frozer uh, technology built inside. It's got loads of stream processes. It's got something like 2,600 uh, CUDA cores in it. So uh, plenty of CUDA cores um, for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Uh, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. It's got 256 uh, uh, bus, uh, bus uh, on it, which is fantastic. Um, I was going to go for the 1060, but I thought to myself, I don't know the performance of the 1060. And obviously I wanted to keep it within the 300 pounds, 400 pounds mark. Um, you know, when upgrading my card, I don't want to spend too much because, like I've just said, I'll be upgrading to a, a serious card next year. Um, but that is um, a lot of money, that card. So, um, for the time being, uh, this card should um, be uh, more than more than adequate uh, to do the job. Um, I've run some tests and I've got some really outstanding performance in in heaven benchmarks and stuff like that. Um, if you do want me to do some benchmarks using this card. And do a video based around Premiere Pro performance uh, using this card then please leave a message in the description below um, and I'll try and get that sorted for you 
um, and obviously a detailed performance look when we're looking at After Effects as well. Um, yeah, if you want to see any videos like that, do leave a message uh, in the description below and I'll try and get that sorted, to you, uh, sorted for you, shall I say. But yeah, apart from that, the card is performing absolutely fantastically. I did have a bit of a scare after I installed the card, um, which I will drop a picture in when I first booted the card up. Um, uh, this happened and I was like, oh my God, what's going on here? Uh, all the screen was blocky. I was thinking to myself, oh God, you know, is this card damaged? You know, is it a faulty card? Um, you can imagine uh, how I was feeling. Uh, but then um, it started working fine and I've had no problem with it since. Touch wood. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, DirectX 12. It's got all the, the goodies in it, um, especially if you want to play games. Um, this will run any game. Um, ultra settings, absolutely no problems at all. Um, yeah, so that is the update on the graphics card. So there it is. We went for a GTX 980 uh, a graphics card for the time being. And then hopefully next year uh, we'll be going for the Quadro K6000, which is a beast of a graphics card. So there it is, guys. Thanks for listening. If you have enjoyed this little quick update, um, a like rate would definitely, definitely be loved, guys. I always appreciate it. And once again, I just want to thank you guys for your continued support. You guys are legendary. Absolutely love you to bits. Um, yeah, you make YouTube worthwhile for me. Um, it's, 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 it's fantastic. It really is. So as always, guys, thanks for listening. And I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.